Mm. Okay. Okay. This I'm. Oh my god. Can't even find the words. It's gonna be my first game. I'm gonna be using the new Super Light, the Logitech Pro X Super Light mouse. Okay, right off the bat, I could already feel a difference between the two, the two mouse, the two mice, the two, the two mouses. Previously, I was using the uh, regular Logitech G Pro Wireless. They're they're pretty much they're exactly the same, but I could already feel significant difference between the two in terms of of the weight of it because i mean it's called like there has to be since it's called super light i already thought this mouse was was light this it's like i don't know how to even explain it, it it's i can already feel a distinct difference between the two and it's pretty amazing and of course, also just right off the bat when I started using it, just you know clicking through and uh, open up face it and all that things, just normal stuff. Best part is, is the shape is is not different, so it's no need to get used to it. But it it, it kind of felt weird how light the mouse the mouse felt, you know? It's like oh my god, you know? It, it, how do I even explain? It just feels really weird. I don't have to use I, f I feel like I don't have to use as much strength to to move the mouse so okay I'm about to get into the game here I'm gonna give my first reaction to to this mouse and <clears throat> you know whether I win or lose or how bad I do in this game give my initial reaction and just like you know the initial reaction nice. give my organic reaction to, to this like this is my this is my oh, very yeah. very first game and wow it feels funny i think even though it's like the same model and the same mouse it's it's gonna be something i'm gonna have to get used to like damn let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. where are you at Oh shit, good job boys. Ooh. I am loving it. Oh my god. I can definitely feel a distinct difference already. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> See, every time, every time you buy a rifle in the second oh, round, yeah. you lose it. You have yep. freaking deed for, for some... Funny ass reason. Guys. Oh my god. It definitely feels... I don't have to use as much effort. Oh god. No, no, no. How do, how, do I, how, do, how do I explain it? When I flick with... When I flick with the other mouse, this mouse, it feels like I have to use more... Strength? To, to give that flick? But it's just now that that quick flick that I had to do just now. It felt like I, I didn't have to use as much, but I over flicked, you know. I over flicked a little bit. Let's see. Okay, one more low. Two two round, bro. Nice shot. Wow, that felt good. Go. It is a little pricey, honestly. Flashback. 
Oh god. Tit. One, two, three, four, five, six, Nine. seven. I okay, fucking go. Molo, one molo. First shot, that was pretty embarrassing. Alright. Oh man. Yeah, I don't play this map enough. I don't play this map enough to know what the call out of this is. Oh I know that's spot. B site. B. I don't know. Him. Nothing mid. Oh god, what the? What the? What the, what the, what the... <gasps> okay, you see that? Perfect example. I over flicked. My mind, my brain is used to the... Like, my muscle memory is used to the other map. Which is a little bit heavier. So the amount of force I would put on that mouse would have worked. But not for this one. You know what I mean, boys? Freaking low, man. Eh, yeah, man. Eh, yeah, man. Two there, two there. Two city. Two there. This, wow. Oh, me likey. From the moment I filmed that game, it has been almost a week of using this mouse, and I can already say that I have gotten quite used to it already. I've gotten used to the weight of it. I've gotten used to, yeah, pretty much the weight of it, because <laughs> that's the only difference with this mouse. With this mouse. I didn't change any DPI. I didn't change, uh, yeah, I didn't change really anything. Uh, in, in terms of my in-game settings yeah so the only thing i had to really get used to was the was the weight of it i mean after 
just after a couple days of uh, playing CSGO with this mouse, I got used to it. It wasn't such a stressful uh, transition to this mouse. I wanted to give my just my uh, quick review on it. I mean, the weight is wow, it's really light. It's really just the way it is advertised. It's really light. I like the white color of it. Kind of matches with my other stuff, you know, white white headphones. I don't know if I can, you guys can see this white, yeah, white keyboard as well. I did say in the game that this mouse is quite pricey, honestly. I And I agree with it. I, I really think it is quite pricey. One of the biggest reasons why you would purchase this is if you play a lot of um, FPS games. I think this mouse is really... I think it, it was just built for professional players and players that just play a lot of FPS games. CSGO, Apex Legends, Fortnite, what's it, Tarkov? Tark any of any FPS games, I think purchasing this mouse would be a good option because previously, um, like I said, I used the Logitech G Pro Wireless and that lasted me a good three years. And I mean, looking at it, there's only just some scratches on it. It still looks in good condition and I've used this for three years and it still feels like uh, the same as I bought it. So I think me purchasing this mouse was a uh, was a was a good choice because for one, I do play a lot of FPS games and I trust brand that this mouse can be durable. So, I mean, given the fact that my Logitech G Pro lasted a long time, the only other reason I can think of to purchase this uh, premium premium mouse is if you like if you like wireless mouses if you i don't know if you just like white or if you you know if you just want one like, that's the only other reasons i can think of but i think the the main reason for why you would want to purchase this is if you play a lot of fps games because i mean pfft, of course, another thing to point out, if you guys haven't used the G Pro Wireless yet, it has a good reputation for having really good response time, like 1ms, and it, it just feels like you're using a wired mouse. Really, it, it really does. So, like when, you know, when I used to use the Razer Mamba, I remember feeling a slight delay. Uh, the Raza, Raz, Raza, the Razer Mamba Wireless, I, re I remember you know, experiencing some, some delay in response time when using it. So when I transitioned to to the G Pro Wireless, I, I was just amazed. I mean, it's an expensive mouse. So if you have the budget, you play a lot of FPS games and you know, you like light mouses, this is a really good, um, a really good option for you. It'll be worth it. And it can last you for a good three to four years. So, I mean, depends if you don't, if you're not a rager, if you don't throw your mouse, you don't bang your mouse. So just be sure to keep that in mind. If you are a rager, don't, you spend a lot of money on this. <laughs> so I don't know if on Amazon it's still unavailable. So it's, it may be a little hard to, to find. Maybe you might have to go to your local store and uh, ask, or ask, ask the, uh, store manager if they have any in stock. I was lucky enough to have found this and, uh, Honestly, I didn't hesitate to buy it. One of the best purchases for my gaming equipment that I've ever made. So. Shit. <laughs> well. That happened. Sorry. Any scratches? Thank God. No. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that review. Just saying if you want if you're going for a premium option for durability and for very light light mouse, the Logitech Super Light. The Logitech G no, the Logitech Pro X Super Light is a really good option. So make a choice wisely. Peace gamers. <laughs>